Okay, when installing Windows 11, basically it wants to force you to use a Microsoft account. And Microsoft's accounts are great, and I would highly suggest just doing that if you have a Microsoft account or create one. But sometimes you want a local account. So usually on Windows 10, an early version of Windows 11, down on the bottom, it would say, I don't have internet. You would just press that, okay? Same thing, if you're on a laptop, then don't connect. So right here, it wants to connect. This is a desktop that's on a new installation. It wants me to connect. Don't connect it, take the ethernet out, okay? Otherwise, this trick doesn't work. So before you start the install, take out the internet. If it asks for wireless, if it's a laptop, don't connect to it. And then you would press, I don't have internet, down on the bottom here. Okay, this doesn't have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press Shift and F10, okay? That brings up this administration piece. If it's not working on a laptop, try Shift Function F10, that's real common. Okay, so right in here, I'm gonna type O-O-B-E. That stands for Out of Box Experience, okay? Now, if it's not typing, put your cursor in. O-O-B-E. Out of box experience, okay? And then I'm gonna do a backslash, by bypass nro, okay? So that's the command that you type. And press enter. Now it's gonna reboot, okay? When it reboots, it's gonna go back into the screen and we should see the, I don't have internet. Back to the same first, United States, we'll say yes. We'll say yes, skip. Okay, now look, we suddenly have this, okay? And this, by clicking this, will allow us to create a local device, okay? So that command's super important. Now here's the problem. Your 25H2, if you're using the new install disk, they've taken this out. <laughs> So the OOBE command I just showed you does not work. So you've got a couple choices. One, use an older version of Windows 11. Download an older ISO version of Windows 11 so you can do this and then just update inside. Then it'll work, okay? Or create a Microsoft account and then create a local account after. But sometimes, again, you don't want to do that. So use an older Windows 11 or Look at the link that I'm providing in this video description for 25H2 and some other ways that should work to get around this. But otherwise, with older version of Windows 11, I believe this still works in 24H2, um, use that Shift plus F10 command. Okay, hope this helps.